السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته معاكم فاطمه ايمن من وينرز اكاديمي النهارده ان شاء الله هنبدا نقرا ونعمل ريفيجن سريعه للباراجرافس واهم التوبكس اللي موجوده عندنا في المنهج لكل يونت من يونت 1 لحد يونت 6 ان شاء الله هنراجع الايميلز ونشوف ازاي بيتكتب هنراجع كمان الدايري وكمان البلوج فبليز يا ريت نركز جدا في كل الريدنج اللي هنسمعه في البارت ده الريدنج المره دي من غير شرح لكن هو مجرد قراءة بس لكل التوبكس عشان تفتكر الروكاب يلا اللي كانت موجودة عندك او حتى تانسلز اللي هتستخدمها لو هتتكلم على شورت ستوريز قصص قصيرة بتكون برضو في الباست لو هتتكلم على انفيتيشن او شيء لسه هتعمله او بيرث داي بارتيز هتبقى في البريزنت كونتينيوس فبليز نركز قوي كمان في الجرامر واحنا بنقول ونفتكر التوبكس كانت بتتكلم عن ايه ده هيساعدنا كتير جدا ان شاء الله واحنا بنكتب باراجرافز او حتى بنشوف فوكاب في الكويشنز بتاعت التشوز فيلا بينا نسمع البارت الاول وكل يونت ان شاء الله انا ببدا اقول ده يونت كام عشان تكون مركز معايا يلا بينا paragraphs unit 1 a community roof garden i am reem i like to help my family at the community garden it's a green space on the roof of our apartment block we have volunteers from the neighborhood we plant vegetables like peppers onions lettuce and carrots. We also plant fruit trees. We only use natural fertilizer to have fresh organic food. We can harvest 20 kilos of vegetables a year. That's great. Email. My neighborhood. From. To. Subject. My neighborhood. Hi Ali. How are you? My neighborhood is, is great. Our apartment is on the 16th floor, so we have a great view of the city. We have a lot of green spaces in our neighborhood. There are also a lot of projects to create parks in green areas. In my neighborhood, there are nice restaurants. There is also a sports club where we can do sports. We all help each other to keep our neighborhood clean and great. Yours, Magdi. Email. The new city you moved to. From, to, subject. The new city I moved to. Hi, Rana. How are you? I am well. And the new city I moved to is great. I live in Scotland with mom, dad, and my brother. Scotland is really interesting. Our apartment is in the city center. It's next to a park called the Meadows. It's on the third floor. People use the park a lot for sports and meeting friends. I like Scotland, but there are lots to uh, lots of things I miss about Egypt. Scottish food is okay, but Egyptian food is better. The people here are, are nice, and I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of new friends at school. Yours, Rukaya. An email. What you miss in Egypt when you travel? From, to, subject. What I miss. What I miss in Egypt when I travel. Dear Zuhair, how are things with you? The new city is really great, but there are lots of things I miss about Egypt. I miss the warm, sunny weather in Egypt. The weather here is very cold all the time. I don't have a lot of friends here. My friends in Egypt are friendly, very friendly. I miss them too much. Food here is okay, but Egyptian food is better. Restaurants in Egypt make very delicious food. I miss the places we used to visit in Egypt, the museums, the parks, and, and clubs. Please write back soon and tell me all the news from home. Lots of love, Ferris. Unit 2. Your school. My school is very big and amazing. There are many buildings in it. There is a new laboratory in our school. We can study science there. In the laboratory, there is equipment which we need to do experiments. Our school playground is large open area. There are benches to sit on under the trees. We have a nice garden in our school. We grow plants in it. We have many laptops and tablets in our computer classrooms. This can help many students study easily. Your pet. There are a lot of animals 
which we can keep as a pet. Cats are my favorite animals. Cats are beautiful. They have soft fur, which is nice to touch. I like cats because they are clean and calm. Cats are independent. You don't need to take them for a walk every day. Cats have sharp claws and teeth. They only use them when they are scared. I like petting cats because this makes me happy. Animal, my friend at school. From to subject, my friend at school. Dear safe, how are you? I'd like to tell you about my new friend, my friend at school. On my first day at school, I was very worried and nervous. I met Ahmed, he's my friend, and he helped me a lot for the first week. He helped me get to know the school. He took me around, showed me my classrooms, and stayed with me at break. He's very clever, and he is good at math. Write soon and tell me your news. Hazem. Unit 3. A trip to Cairo. I love setting new places on my vacation. I, will, I love visiting new places on my vacation. I need to try some activities for the trip. There are lots of things to do in Cairo. I can visit the Maniel Palace Museum with my friends. It's interesting. We can take photos there. We shouldn't forget to explore the souks. We can climb the Babzuela Minaret. We'll have great fun. A place in Egypt. Egypt is a very great country. I am proud to be Egyptian. There are many interesting places to visit in Egypt. The Dome of Abu Hawa is a very interesting place to visit. You can climb up the hill to the dome. There is a great view from there. It's very famous for watching the sunset from there. Many tourists like to visit this place. I feel proud to live in such, an, such a fantastic place. An email, Sharm el Sheikh. It's not an email, it's a blog. Here we have to write the title Sharm el Sheikh in this board. And here, number two, here we're talking about the date. This is the date. Then we're going to start reading. Number one, I'm going to write here, Sharm el Sheikh will blog. The date, Monday, March 3rd. Then I'm going to start reading or writing. Today, I am in Sharm el Sheikh. Sharm el Sheikh is an amazing place for a holiday. It's an interesting and busy town by the Red Sea. Sharm el Sheikh is my favorite holiday destination because there are a lot of thing, lots of things to see and do there. I can go quite biking with my sister in the desert. In the morning, we relaxed on the beach. Yesterday, I visited St. Catherine Monastery. It's a wonderful day. At the Carnival. It's a blog. So, Sunday, May 1st, at the Carnival, then we're going to start writing. When I arrive at the park, I am suddenly in a world of fantasy. It's really exciting. There is a lot to see and do here. There are amazing rides to try, like the roller coaster. There are also theaters where you can watch shows. There are places to eat and stores too. My brother loves water rides, so he wants to go on some of those. We have ticked for the waterfalls ride. It has some high sections, so it's a bit scary, and you get very wet. Unit 4. A birthday party. Tomorrow is my sister's birthday. We're getting ready for the party. I am hanging up the strings. I'm tying them together, so I need my scissors to cut the string. My mom is decorating the birthday cake. She has candles for it. My brother is sending the email invitations. My cousins are blowing up some colorful balloons. My aunt is making a music playlist for the party. My sister loves the fireworks. My dad will let off 
the fireworks tomorrow. Birthdays around the world. Birthdays are celebrated all, all over the world. Children everywhere like party food. Birthday parties often include small cakes, sandwiches, and snacks. In many countries, children like to blow out the candles on their birthday cakes. In Brazil, they give the first piece of their birthday cake to the most important people in their family. In China, people like to eat long noodles or peaches on their birthdays. Spending my free time. From to subject. Spending my free time. Dear Ali, this is an email. How are things? I'd like to tell you about my free time. I don't have much free time because I'm studying for my exams. There are lots, a lot of activities I like doing in my free time. I like getting outside. I go running every morning in the park. I also cycle on the weekends. I also cycle on the weekends with my dad. I like meeting my friends in my free time. Reading is my favorite hobby, but I am a slow reader. I love history books, so I can spend my free time reading about history. Write soon and tell me your news. Bag it. Mother's Day celebration in my school. This is an email and it has an invitation. From to subject. Subject, Mother's Day celebration in my school. Dear Mr. Ayman, I'm writing to invite you, I'm writing to invite you to our school's Mother's Day celebration. This year, we are organizing a special day for the celebration on Sunday, March 21, 21st. Details below. We are inviting students, teachers, and parents. We very much hope you can attend. Date, Sunday, March 21st. Time, from 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. Location, School Hall. RSVP and writing to the email address above. Please reply by February 20th to confirm if you can attend the celebration. Yours sincerely, Salah Ali. Unit 5. Marco Polo. Marco Polo was an Italian explorer. He was one of the first people from the West to visit China. He went to China in the 13th century. He wrote a diary about his experiences. It's called The Travels of Marco Polo. It was a very difficult journey to China. The journey took years. He sailed by ship on a long journey. When he got to Hormuz, he stopped and went across the desert. He rode a camel all the way to China. A famous traveler in the past. Marco Polo was a famous traveler who traveled to many places. He was one of the first people from the West who visited China. He wrote his diary, The Travels of Marco Polo, when he was 21. He went into the Gobi Desert for the first time. He saw the sand dunes, which were amazing. It was a mysterious and dangerous place. Marco Polo Museum had a lot of things from ancient China. The Gobi Desert. The Gobi Desert has a very hot, dry weather. There are many sand dunes. Some of the sand dunes are 60 meters tall and 20 meters long. The dunes shapes are always changing. The wind makes the sand dunes move and roll like huge yellow waves. The local people called the Gobi Desert the Dry Sea in their language. An amazing trip. It's a blog. I read the date here. 6 January. Today I had an amazing trip. I went on Feluka on the River Nile. A Feluka is a traditional Egyptian sailing boat. It's made of wood. A Feluka is difficult to sail, but the captain was very strong and had the skills to do it. The trip was wonderful. 
We went slowly down the river in the warm sunshine. The boat had two white sails, which moved gently in the wind. In the afternoon, we had a delicious lunch on board, on board the Veluca. I really had a very nice time. Unit six, making candles. It's not difficult to make candles. There are some instructions for making candles. First, we need some wax. Palm wax from Egyptian palm trees make really nice candles. We need some perfume oil to make three candles. We squeeze in about 40 drops of the perfume oil. We can press some flowers on the tops of the candles. We, can, we need one glass for each candle and one wick. We need some popsicle sticks to hold the wicks up in the glasses. Food in ancient Egypt. Ancient, Egypt, ancient Egyptians took care of their bodies and ate well. Ancient Egyptians ate a lot of vegetables and fruits. They used wheat and barley to make bread. Most people in ancient Egypt only ate a little meat. They probably ate a few fish and birds. They also ate some eggs and cheese from cows or geese. They used honey with bread and cream to make cakes. They also used dates or figs to make sweet fruit drinks. Some families used spices and herbs to make their cooking taste better. Personal care in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egyptians used many of the products we use today for personal care. They used perfumes and toothpaste. Some perfumes in ancient Egypt were made from flowers, herbs, and some types of minerals. They mixed these flowers and herbs with oil to make a cream. The ancient Egyptians made mint candies to keep their mouths fresh all day. Egyptian flavors. Egypt is famous for its spices. Spices are used in home cooking and restaurants. We use spices to cook food. We also use spices to make perfume and medicine. People can also buy spices from suits, like markets. Tourists buy beautifully packaged package it spices as souvenirs when they when they visit Egypt. Thank you so much. Good luck.